Hey there once again YouTube. I just wanted to bring one update at ya. Um, so right now is 8.20 p.m. Pacific Time, August 13th, 2019. And I just want I know that I did put out an update via my Facebook post and my YouTube post last night about Steamboat Geyser. But I just wanted to put this out there just so everybody knows what happened last night. We did see another eruption. It didn't erupt for a little while and Again, I was like, ah, uh, what is it? Is it dead? Is it not going to erupt? But it did erupt. The most recent eruption is the 31st eruption of 2019, which is the 63rd eruption since it reactivated in early 2018. Now, June 2019 broke a record of its own. As many people know, Steamboat erupted seven times in June, setting an all-time record for eruptions in one calendar month. Steamboat still seems to be alive and well. However, this most recent eruption was around five days late if adhering to the six to seven day schedule Steamboat usually holds. We only need two, yes, two more eruptions to beat the all time yearly record of 32 eruptions, which was achieved by Steamboat Geyser in 2018. So that means, guys, the next eruption of Steamboat will match the all time yearly record in one calendar year. If Steamboat keeps erupting regularly, we should beat the 2018 record in less than a month. Stay tuned. Last night's eruption occurred at about 10.23 p.m. Mountain Time, August 12, 2019, which would be 4.23 UTC on the 13th. You can see a small minor eruption, which occurred right before the main eruption started, right about here, about 12 minutes prior. And you can see on Seismic Station YNM on the helicopter, you can see it right there. Again, the small eruption first, and then about 12 minutes later, we did see the main eruption right there. Now that's it for Steamboat Geyser. Again, we only need two more eruptions to beat the all-time record and one more eruption to match that record. But I want to move on to something else. We went to Mount St. Helens today, and this footage is from today, taken by yours truly. So this was August 13, 2019, around 2 p.m. or so, around there, 2 p.m. Pacific time. Um, now, this is my second time being in Mount St. Helens. Now, in person, I have never seen it steaming before. I do know it occurs here and there, but I haven't heard of it happening for quite a while. There was really no earthquake activity at all in Mount St. Helens today, surprisingly. No ground deformation recently at all. So it all seems calm, except today I did catch it steaming. When we were first coming up to the summit uh, on the, uh, what was it, SR504, we did see a little bit of steam almost reach the top of the summit right up here because it was coming from the dome. And I was like, is that a cloud? And my fiance he was like, no, that's not a cloud. It's steaming. Uh, Ben, turn around the car. I was like, oh no, there's no earthquakes or ground deformation. We're not going to die. Nothing bad's going to happen. But it, it definitely was interesting because I have not seen it steam via the webcam in forever. And in person, I have never seen it steaming before. So here's the footage I took today. I'm going to make an, a lot bigger video of all the footage I gathered from uh, today's trip and last week's trip. Uh, let's see, last Tuesday. So each Tuesday, today's Tuesday we went, and last Tuesday Claire and I went, my daughter and I, uh, it was a lot better today. And it was very cool because some of the dome was steaming, and so I was very excited about that. We had a very good time. I'm going to make a new page on my website for volcano trips, for trips that we take to volcanoes, for pictures and videos that I take and stuff like that. I'll let you guys know in a video when that's out, probably in the next few days or so. But here is the footage I took today of Mount St. Helen steaming. The bitty amount. You gotta tilt it. Yep. Yeah, thank you. As you can see, it's just a very small amount on the dome that's all the way back here. But you can tell it was definitely steaming today. We could see that even an hour ago. Just a tiny, tiny bit of steam. Teeny, teeny. That is so cool. I've never seen it do that before. Hi, bud. What about sissy? Then have some. You don't have to fuss about it. Wow, and then he fusses. <laughs> It's not the whole dome that's steaming, it's just a small little part of it in the back. But when we got to Mount St. Helens on the road, just down the road about 10 or 15 minutes away, it was almost up to the southern summit right here. That dome still must so be pretty hot. Too big, but it wasn't steam. Yeah, I noticed that. I haven't seen it steam for a while. 
It's just a tiny bit, but it's pretty cool. Kind of a stark reminder, huh? I know, right? <laughs> I'd love a little ash plume. Call me crazy. You know <laughs> just even if we died, no one else would see that. Exactly, you know? Come and get me! Right? <laughs> Oh, hold on, bud. That is so. Is, is, I wonder if that's the newest part of the dome. Adams. Oh, and then here, let me go back just. To See Mount back. Adams. Right there. There's Mount Adams. Mama. Let's go up the trail, guys. Here's a little bit more of it steaming. Guys, look at steaming. Look, the dome in the back. You see that dome in the back? You sure? Yeah, that's steam. Look at that. I can see it on the camera. Then in 2004, it started pushing out rock for about three and a half years straight. And I remember the lava spine. Solid pre-formed rock. Ooh. And that was, they pushed out about enough rock to fill up a normal construction dump truck per second for about three and a half years straight. So the bottom half of that, I believe, was 87 million cubic, cubic million meters of rock, and the top was, I believe, 91 or 93 cubic million meters of rock that pushed out from the 2004 to 2008. Now, with that being said, had its regrown about 9% of what it lost on May 18, 1980, between the two eruptive periods, they said that if that 2008, four to 2008 period had continued and not stopped in 2008. Within 200 years, it would have regrown everything it lost mm. on the main. 200 year. years. Oh. Hmm? Thank you. No, my pleasure. I'm just trying to see if I can find the ice and mountain woods. They're pure white. They're pure white. There are also down here before. Oh, are they? Well, they were earlier, but then they went down low. This is a half hour. Yeah, that's what it's oh, well, yeah. long ago. It's building again. Eventually, it, it'll, eventually it'll erupt again. One of these centuries. Let's go down. Hold on, Claire Baron, just a second, okay? I would love to go inside that crater. I want to go see Mommy. We will in just a minute, okay, sweetie? Look at that acidic stratovolcano. Now, so you can obviously tell Mount St. Helens was definitely steaming, guys. And uh, last time my daughter and I were there last week, it was not steaming at all. Don't remember the last time it was steaming, but there really was no seismicity, no ground deformation, so obviously nothing to worry about. Even if there was something to worry about, it really could not see another major, major eruption like 1980 for a long time, unless it built up for many years. But, I just want to let you guys know, Mount St. Helens with steaming is very exciting to see. So, hope you guys have a great day. I will be back soon. God bless, and I'll see you later.